What's going on everyone? In this video, it's all about custom menu links inside of your agency account. It is now possible to add custom menu links to your SaaS plan. You can now rearrange your custom links. Agencies can now restrict the visibility of custom links according to agency users or admins. And agency owners can set the permissions on who is allowed to turn them on or off or change them. Now, this new feature will allow you as the agency owner to tailor your SaaS offerings differently to different audiences. Now, let's say, for instance, in one of your higher tiers, people will get access to a specific community group where they can ask questions about whatever it is that you're selling, your SaaS, your coaching or your services, right? You can then add a specific link inside the custom menu field that only shows up for the people who are enrolled in that particular tier who then get access to your community group, for example. Let me show you how you can set this up. Okie doke. So first you want to make sure you're logged into your agency account and click on settings on the bottom left. And then you want to select custom menus on the left. Now to create a new menu item, click plus create new. And here you can select the link icon. Let's say we are forwarding people to YouTube. Good use case. Link title, YouTube. Let's place our URL right here. And then you can select, hey, when somebody clicks on this link inside of our menu, what do we want to happen? Do we want this link to open within the current window as an embedded iframe or do we want to open in a new tab or do we want it to open in the current window? Let's select open in a new tab for now. Then down here you can select who needs to see this. Is it only for agency sidebar, so for internal use, so your team can see it? Or is this for the sub-account sidebar or for both? Okay. If you keep sub-accounts, you can then click the drop-down menu here and select all the sub-accounts where you want to show this particular menu item. You can either select all or you can select one by one. If you don't want to show this in sub-accounts and only in the agency sidebar, deselect sub-accounts. And then here you can also select the role-based visibility. Click the drop-down menu. You can determine should all people, all users and all admins inside the agency see it. Should only specific users see it or only the admins. Let's keep it at all for now. Let's hit save. And down here you can see our custom menu link has been added. Now let's refresh the page. And here at the bottom left, you can see the new link has been added, which is YouTube. Now let's click on it and you'll be forwarded to the YouTube channel. Now let's go back to custom links on the left. And then click rearrange menu links at the top. Now let's say we wanted to move up the YouTube custom menu link to the top. We just click the three dots and drag and drop it and let go. Just like that. And the links have been rearranged. You can also click the three dots right here and click on move to last. And then it will just jump back to the bottom. Under filters here, you can select, hey, do you want to see all of the custom links? Do you want to see only the ones that are visible to agency? Or do you only want to see the ones that are visible to sub account? Let's select sub account. Let's hit apply. And he would see all the links that only the people inside the sub accounts would see and not inside the agency. Now, inside your agency settings, if you click on teams on the top left, then select the team member in question, click edit, click on roles and permissions, and you can see custom menu links right here. And that's where you can then change the permissions. Now, if you want to add selected custom menu links to your SaaS plans, you can do that too. Then you want to select your plan in question, then click on features. And then under features, you'll be able to select the custom menu links, which will then be automatically be added to your new SaaS clients on this particular plan. Okay. You can just simply select or deselect the custom menu links that you want to show or not show. That's it. And that's it already. I hope you liked the new way how you can manage custom menu links and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.